Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to fix the could not load file or assembly or one of its dependencies error. This is a common issue that many users face, but don't worry, I'll guide you through a simple fix step by step. Let's get started. So first we're going to open up the search menu on your computer. 1. Type in regedit. The best match result should be Registry Editor. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control UAC prompt, select Yes. Before making any changes, I highly recommend creating a backup of your registry. This is important because if anything goes wrong, you can easily restore it. To create a backup, click on File in the menu bar. Select Export. For the file name, I recommend naming it with today's date so you can easily identify it. Set export range to all. Save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. If you ever need to restore the backup, open Registry Editor. Click File then Import. Navigate to the backup file and select it. Now that we have a backup, we can proceed with the fix. 1. Double-click on the HKEY Local Machine folder. Then double click on the software folder. Look for the Microsoft folder and double click on it. Scroll down and find the Fusion folder, then click on it once. On the right side, right click on a blank space. Select New, then D Word, 32 bit value. Name this value Disable Cache Viewer, make sure the first letter of each word is capitalized. Press Enter. Double click on the newly created Disable Cache Viewer. In the Value Data field, delete the existing zero and type one. Click OK to save the changes. Now that we've made the necessary changes, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So go ahead and restart your PC at this time. And that's it. Once your computer reboots, the issue should be resolved. If this helped you out, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.